if there is not a leap towards federalizing debt at this stage here in Europe, what do you think the implications are economically? I think uh, the question of mutualization of debt or euro bonds is a little bit too much in the foreground. What is important is that Europe, the European citizens, see solidarity that can take different, different forms. Uh, the, if, if this solidarity is not felt by the, by the people, people in, in need in particular, then they might lose their belief in the European project, and that would be extremely damaging. So uh, even those countries who are the most uh, toughest, uh, the toughest uh, opponents to euro bonds or corona bonds or whatever you call it, uh, will suffer the most uh, because they might be economically the most dependent upon the internal market. And the internal market might be at risk when people don't believe in the European project anymore. Do you think that we are at that point now? Do you think we've reached the point where faith in the European Union in places like Italy has now been completely eroded? Uh, and I appreciate what you say about some of the Nordic countries and the northern countries on how much they rely on the, 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 the single market. But nevertheless, you, you feel for those countries that are at the, the bottom end of the scale at the moment, economically, that are suffering the most. Where are we now in terms of that process? I think it is, until last week at least, until we finally came to that big package of close to $600 billion, it was really very dangerous because uh, the, the opinion polls in Italy, for instance, were dramatically going down, uh, in favor, not in favor, but against Europe. So therefore, it was time to act. I think this, action, this act was successful. Uh, it might even be scaled up one day. So this is, this is the right approach. But what is much more important psychologically is is if you, for instance, uh, put a ban on the export of certain goods like respirators or lung machines or whatever, uh, then this is felt like a, a lack of solidarity. And this is something that pe people will not forget. Uh, I've said, uh, well, maybe one day these people who are suffering will then say, okay, we don't need your cars or your electric machines anymore either.